Here is the Toyota Corolla. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now there's one door sensor on each of the four doors. I'm just going to show you on the left side ones. For the front door, that's where the sensor is. And for the rear door, that right there where the sensor is. Now you just need to take off that one bolt. And for that, you need a T30, Torx 30 screwdriver bit. Without it, you cannot do this job. You need to have that screwdriver bit. Now, before you twist left, make sure you push it down, push it inwards, and then you twist it left. So that way, you don't end up stripping that bolt off because that bolt is on there pretty tight. So apply some downward pressure or inward pressure and then twist it left. And let's get the bolt loose and get it out all the way and keep it somewhere safe. Try pulling it out straight or try twisting it and that should loosen the sensor. Pull it out and this is as far as the sensor comes out. There's not a whole lot of wire length over there. So to get the connector off, you're going to press down right where I'm pressing down with my index finger. And if that doesn't work, get the screwdriver and use that to press it down on the electrical connector and then pull the sensor off. Get the new door sensor and be careful that when you put the sensor back on, the electrical connector doesn't just slip off and go inside the body. Because if it does, then it requires just more work. And it's a little bit tricky because there's not a whole lot of wire length over there. So it's possible that when you're trying to do this, it is going to slip and go in the body. And if that happens, that's okay. You'll need a needle nose pliers like this. Get a pair of pliers and then use that to grab onto the connector and then fish it out of there. And there it is. Now use that pair of pliers to sort of apply some pressure from the back there. To give some support to the connector. Get the new door sensor, slide that on, and click it in place. And now that is good. Let's put the door sensor back in its place. Get the bolt back on. And without the bolt, the sensor is not going to work. It's important that you do not lose the bolt. And get the bolt back in, and you tighten that down all the way. That's good. Let's try this out. See, it's working. The car is recognizing the door opening and closing because I'm pressing and letting go of the sensor there. And that's good. Let's now move on to the rear door. Same process, same everything, same T30 screwdriver bit is what you need. Same everything. It's actually easier over here because there's some more wire length when we take the connector off. Get the bolt off, pull the sensor out, and now let's get the connector off. There's a little bit more wire length, so there's not a whole lot of tension. So the connector doesn't just go in the body like it does on the front one. Get the new door sensor, slide it on, and put it back in its place. Again, just get the bolt back on, hand tighten that a couple turns, and then tighten it down the rest of the way with the screwdriver. And that's pretty much it. Hope you found the video useful.